Hey everyone, and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. Let me introduce you to 3dprintlog.com. 3dprintlog is a website that I've been developing to help keep track of my 3D prints. You can create a free account today and record details about what you have 3D printed and be able to share those details with others. I had been manually writing down all of my print times for the last few years, but with it all on paper, it was hard to ask questions like, how much filament have I used? or what's my total print time on this printer. So I developed this website to make that more convenient, and I wanted to share it with this awesome community. While I show you this website, you can go to 3dprintlog.com and sign up for an account now if you want to try it out yourself. It is completely free to use. After signing in, you'll be brought to the list of all of your 3D prints. If it's your first time here, you'll be prompted to create a 3D printer. Otherwise, you'll use this page to search your past prints and create new prints. So let's log a new print. My wife requested a small shelf, so we found this secret shelf by Toss on Thingiverse that would be perfect. I'll download the files, then jump back to 3D print log and click the button to add a new print. Here is where we can enter all of the details and upload pictures. For now, I'll just give it a title. I'll make sure that my TiVo Tornado is selected as the printer, and since I know the Thingiverse URL, I'll paste that in as well. Down at the bottom, I'll set the status to pending since I haven't started the prints, and I'll make this print public so anyone can view it. Let's click Submit, and it'll be saved and added to my list of prints. Let's jump over to Cura and get the file ready for printing. I'll adjust a few settings and get it how I want it, and Cura estimates that it will take about 4 hours and 1 minute to complete, and it will use 68 grams worth of filament. Perfect! Let's jump back into 3D print log, and we'll edit our secret shelf print to record those estimated print times and filament usage. While I'm here, I now know that this will be printed using my white PETG, and I might as well give it a bit of a description. And let's start this print. While this shelf is printing, let's go see what else 3D Print Log has to offer. The Prints page lets you flip through all of your past prints. You can also search for specific words. I remember a giraffe print I made a while back. Where did I get that model? Oh, that's right. It was this low-poly giraffe from Thingiverse, and I printed it back in April. The Printer tab lets you manage your 3D printers. Here, you can put in their make and model, as well as other relevant details. These printers will appear in the printer dropdown when adding a new print. You'll need to have an active printer here before you can record prints. The Analytics tab gives you some stats about your past prints. You can see total print time, filament used, and see a breakdown of prints by their status. In the last 30 days, I've had one successful print, and I currently have one print in progress. Let's view the last 365 days. I've printed a total of 128 prints, but it looks like I still have three prints marked as printing. That must be a mistake. Let's look into that. I can go back into the print screen and filter by the printing status. Whoops, it looks like I had two prints I forgot to mark as successful. Easy enough to edit them and mark them as successful, but you can also mark them as canceled or failed. The 3D print log also has documentation to help you know what each screen means and guide you through the process. So if you have any questions, take a peek at the documentation. There is also a feedback button if you have suggestions or questions. This is a good way to communicate with me and let me know what features you'd like to see. And finally, you can see your own user profile. Here, you can add and update your cover photo, profile picture, and add a bio about yourself. Your profile can be public if you want, so you can share your URL and anyone can see your stats and public prints, or you can keep it private. Your profile shows some key stats, your total prints, print time, and filament used, as well as those stats from the last 30 days. And you'll see a list of all of your prints, searchable just like from the print screen. Hey, would you look at that? 
the shelf has finished printing. 3D Print Log is also mobile friendly, so I can pull it up on my phone. This print took 3 hours, 59 minutes, and 23 seconds to complete, so I can open up the print on my phone and type that into the actual time field. While I'm here, I'll change the status to success, and I'll also take a picture of it. You can add pictures directly from your phone or your computer, or you can take a new one right here. I'll take the picture, and then I'll save the print. After having a few moments to inspect the prints, I can then make some notes about the print for future reference. I'll make some notes about the stringiness that I see. The search lets you find titles or words used in the description, so if I wanted to see all of my notes about stringing, I can type string into the search and we'll see that the shelf comes up. And if I flip over to my profile, since I set the print to be visible to the public, it'll appear here in the list on my profile. If your user profile is set to public, then anyone will be able to see your profile without needing to sign in. It'll also only show your public prints in the list, so you can have a combination of both public and private prints. It's also a great way to share what you have printed with people. Just make it public and send them the link. So this is just the initial release of 3dprintlog.com, but I have plenty of other features planned for the future. Filament roll tracking, octoprint integration, and support for other types of printers are all currently in the works. If you have ideas for how 3D Print Log could be improved, send some feedback through the website. I'd initially built this tool to fit my own needs and workflow, but I'd love to hear what the community could find useful. I plan to periodically post update videos here as development continues, so be sure to subscribe to keep up to date. So thank you all for watching, and I hope that you can try out 3dprintlog.com and that I can help you streamline your own 3D printing life.